Hello everyone, and this is my last episode of my Let's Play of this stupid hard game. Another reason why I'm saying that is because <clears throat> I actually peed the head. <laughs> it's pretty much like opening your presents at bloody Christmas. Or knowing where you hid the Easter eggs for Easter. Yes, I cheated a little bit and I actually looked ahead to see what was up because I was getting sick of um, losing my sense of progression after a while because the game itself was not designed for blind runs. Or well, if it was, uh, I'll be here spending an hour at this level. And right now, this itself, uh, the footage you're seeing right now, this is the actual blind run. Uh, I'll tell you when I um, actually went to practice that a little bit. Uh, this was actually for my original recording as well. Until I saw it was coming up and then I just scrapped it. But here you go. Um, I spliced it together. And you'll see why I stopped doing the blind run. And I started just doing a you know, post commentary. Uh, you won't actually see me freaking out at all. <laughs> uh, not as much as you saw in the last videos. But again, this area is hard. The reason why it's hard, it's not the fact that I am living strange. Hmm. It's because the amount of consistency this actual level needs is ridiculous. Again, just imagine playing Gran Turismo 4 and... Gran Turismo 4? Jeez, how old am I? Endurance rounds. <laughs> Doing a boss rush, making sure that you have as much health as possible. It's like that. Let's just say that right now, if I lose all my lives, I have to restart from outside of this complex again. Where the, um, you know, where the wind was pushing us. And let me tell you that we have a lot more rooms to go. That's the reason why I have changed my format a little bit, and I started doing a little post-commentary. But at least now you'll see a very, very competent run after this. Um, this is still the blind run, by the way. So you can see me taking things a little bit cautiously. This way, it gives me time to actually concentrate on the commentary rather than me uh, doing two things at the same time. And that stuff hurts your brain. And so does getting your head spiked, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm so lucky that these spikes don't take up more than one bar of health. But... Things I gotta mention, now that I'm not doing any gameplay right now, things I can actually talk about. Now, I mentioned before that I am playing this on the SNES version. No, I'm playing this on the SNES, the uh, Ninja Garden Collection. It actually has changed the music soundtrack and the graphics a bit. Not too much, it still stays faithful to the original graphics. However, it has been touched up, so um, just in case you have a look at the other videos and realize that I thought it was the same game. It's not, but it's pretty faithful as it is. Everything is dead of gameplay and me actually getting hit by spikes. <laughs> okay, and I'll start commentating on the actual footage right now. Um, just up this part. Now this is the part where I just thought, nah, not doing it. I saw that shit right there and I thought, this shit's gonna be bananas. I can tell from maybe the first Ninja Garden as well that if this is the hardest part of the game, they'll make us go through three bosses of some sort. And my prediction was exactly right. <laughs> so now you can see this is my competent run. Um, I didn't actually take too long to record this by the way. Um, now you practice a little bit, maybe for ooh, half an hour or so. And this is my last, uh, this is my end result. And one of the things you actually have to note is the fact that you cannot get hit. No, you can get hit, but get hit absolutely, positively, not much. <laughs> you can see me being careful here as well. You saw me die from this guy right there, and yeah, that guy can kill you a lot. But we need all our health because we have. Ow, boss rush coming as well. Not only that, but lives as well. Don't want to die. And actually, when I think about it, it took me about half an hour to practice this level to get it pretty down pat. 
so I can just do one quick run. However, the bosses were the ones that took me so long. <laughs> um, especially the last boss. That took me maybe uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't exactly easy. And you can tell now um, in this game, they're just throwing spikes left, right and center. They've got nothing else to give to us. So they just like to spam out spikes. And this jump right here, for some reason, gave me a bit of a um, headache right here. But I've done it perfectly then. Um, sometimes you always pass through the wall and sometimes get hit by the spikes. I don't know, maybe that's just a bug. Speaking of which, were there many bugs when it came to Nintendo games? I can't remember exactly. Not as much as these days. Oh, I don't want to go and talk about that again. So, um, this area as well. Um, as long as you spam your magic, it is fine. It's better to spam magic than to lose health. And you want every single bar of health possible. Now, um, now that we have finished the game as well, what did I think of it? Hmm, I had a lot of fun, let's just say that. Um, what I think about maybe early on, uh, the first or earlier episodes where I was saying, you know, that these games, these retro games don't age and stuff. One of the things I was actually going to point out is the fact that sprites are actually timeless. There's more detail in sprites than 3D models when I think about it. Like, you know, you can always perfectly draw a sprite better than your 3D model, I guess. Okay, but onto that topic later. We got our very first boss, and one of the things I am doing right now is absolutely raping him. The only reason why I gotta speed things up is because if you don't attack him, he'll throw homing shots at you. So every single time you attack him, you actually have to make sure that you zigzag in and out so you don't get attacked by the lightning. And this boss as well, is it too bad uh, when you get the actual rhythm right? Just go from side to side and swipe, but make sure that you actually are in the middle of that gap. Because I think in this run I actually get hit twice. Run right there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't realize that Ryu has such a big hitbox. So just use your shooter skills and just step right through. It's not too hard. And again I like to do my jumping poses. Woo! Woo! Sort of jumps like a Yoshi in um Yoshi story. <laughs> And this is our final boss, about freaking time. And this boss is actually hard. He doesn't, he doesn't show it, that's... What you're seeing right now is its patterns. He just likes to shoot like a sonic boom sort of thing and shoots those lasers. However, the lasers actually go at different angles, so you, can always, you can't always predict it. But the hardest thing about this is timing your jumps, because there have been many times when I've gone up to him, Try to attack him, but you get you get hit by those uh, sonic boom things because you need to time your jumps. You gotta make sure that you have enough time to attack. And this part as well, um, I actually got extremely lucky here. But as long as you find a gap, um, you don't actually see it in this video. But there's usually like yeah, explosion splash damage right there that you gotta avoid. But as as long as you get right in and be lucky, he can't hit you. You know, he actually looks like I actually did, did, did these bosses too easily. And I wouldn't say they were too hard, but um, it's all pattern recognition. Wasn't a big fan of the bosses in this game, to be honest. The levels were a lot harder, but I can't say anything, I digress. And here we have our ending. Did I add any of the cutscenes beforehand? No, unfortunately not. So will it actually make any context? For us at least. Mm, it won't, but that was a fun game. And spending a couple hours of it, that was good. But thank you guys for watching. That was my last uh, competent run for this game. And I hope you enjoyed the ending. I'll be back and I will be playing more games. However, no more blind runs from me, unfortunately. I reckon that was a bad idea. But you can actually see now that, you know, with just enough practice, you too can actually 
finish off a pretty difficult game. But that's enough for me. Catch you next time and I hope you enjoy the rest of the ending.